What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle. The fake lasers. That's what it's all about. Crypto everything that I talk about on my channel. I'm talking about the news, platforms, entertainment. I mean, and then, of course, my uh, other channel I got as well on uh, eventually streaming, but uh, podcasting for sure. The Muscle Cast. That's what it's all about. Coming to you with another two video, and today in this video is going to be the latest in Bit, not Bitcoin, <laughs> crypto news that's going on in the space today. And first and foremost, I got to talk about something here: the end of the road of online funds. All right, this thing ended yesterday, probably about 7 a.m. And so, um. It did say, I just hit reload, but it did say five days. So it stopped it at five days and at $816,000 right there. I think had it kept on going, it could have been well over a million dollars going to this thing. Uh, it was very popular for what it was. And then they decided to pull the plug. So this was just an hourly and now it's over all right so that is the end of online funds all right i just wanted to put that out there for you guys and now let's talk about the latest in crypto news bam all right so uh let me go back let me get out of this page here back to here all right so i guess before i talk about that let's go take a look at what's going on in the market sunday uh bitcoin's tailing off a little bit right now in a sideways but trending downwards pattern um it looks like it's going into a uh, a bearish wedge in between my you know what yeah just saying under twenty one thousand right now and it looks like it's kind of tailing down right now uh will it hit under 20 tonight you know it's sunday sunday night dumps right that's what's going on, possibly. We'll see. Uh, Ethereum, 1100, it's kind of holding, but still it's going down as well. Everything's starting to trend downwards right now. And we'll see what happens when you wake up Monday, right? And so with that, uh, it's even trending as the top <laughs> crypto that's gone down. So with that, let's see. Uh, I guess let me take a peek at uh, some of the shit coins out there. I always like taking a look at those because people always, you know, want to know about, ooh, look at that, a 40% 40, 40 pump. Holy shit, Apollo, man. But sorry, it'll never be massively adopted, all right? And of course, this garbage pets bullshit. <laughs> look at that. Now, when it's trending down like this, and uh, let me see here. If there's any sort of all-time lows hit yet, 90% discount and uh, six zeros. So it's getting closer to the all-time lows, right? 2257, this is 1586, so it's getting there, all right? Because it's garbage. And it's, it's one thing if you believe in it and talk about it, but it's another when you just talk about it, but you don't actually join it. You know what I'm talking about? That's just stupidity when you sit there and talk about it but you don't join it you know oh man this is great and blah, blah blah shut the hell up you know what i'm saying so it's just idiotic look at this <laughs> big old drop off too so let's see how much this shit coin swap tracker right it's another believer coin if you're a believer it may come true look at that hit all-time low just eight minutes ago right at uh, 901, this is 8972 at the all-time low. So, just eight minutes ago. Just keep on hitting all-time lows, man. What a shit coin. Uh, let's see, all right. Let me take a look at a couple more coins here. Has this thing pumped or dumped? Ooh, it's falling down once again. Drip. Animal Farm, let's see if this is going up and down. Oh, still going down to $62 now instead of 63 just telling you guys, you better get out while well, they're getting good. Crypto news now. So yesterday was uh, EID Mubarak Day to all Muslims around the world. Wish you all a very happy and peaceful EID. So that's it was a big thing going on yesterday with that. 
lots of people talking about it if you're into the religious holidays there. That's a worldwide Muslim holiday. Uh, let's see here. What else is going on? Stay really intensified scrutiny of Voyager. Well, yeah, we know that already. So Voyager addresses cu customer anger in first bankruptcy hearing. Okay, okay. And, uh, okay, we're just going to keep it moving. Let's see here. Hi, I have stable on Harmony. I lost my money. Only 88% of it. <laughs> oh, my God, what is the last hope? No hope, really. Yeah, Harmony was the latest bridge that got exploited. Amongst uh, bridges that get exploited, that means that it's still a early and very hackable uh, entry way to steal crypto. And what's this here? Three AC. What is this? <laughs> Music to borrow money. It's kind of funny. Uh, let's see. Crypto Bros taken. LS. Whatever. Buy the dip. <laughs> yeah. Buy the dip, guys. Oh, it's so cheap. It's so cheap, right? Man uses life savings to buy non-existent metaverse land. He dropped 18000 on the Corum Coast and a virtual property in the Entropia universe. And uh, that's a lot of money for virtual property. So hopefully that, well, I don't know if that's going to come to anything, but hopefully it does, right? Uh, or maybe I'll just kind of take a quick peek at this article here. Um... Sounds like a lot and a crazy thing to tell someone that you know that you're a virtual landowner, but in I believe in entropia. All right, so he's a believer, right? You know, when it comes to believers, what happens? They get shit thrown on them, and that's what usually happens there. Um, but yeah, so that's not much to that article. Garbage article. I mean, it's just as bad as uh, might as well just, uh, you know, buy a piece of the moon right you know how they used to do those sort of things you can adopt a piece of the moon or whatever the stars out there something like that you know you could adopt a star and there's millions and billions of stars you can adopt and pay a fee for that might as well just do that right because you're a believer so uh let's see linda shin 3c lawyer and liquidation representative don't know where co-founders uh sue Zhu, and kyle davies are on the bankruptcy filing. So what, they're hiding somewhere right now? <laughs> kind of funny. Uh, let's see, what else here? Anything on this one? I usually like to check out several sources to peruse through information to share with you guys. And, um, I mean, what can I say? It's just one of those things I like to do. And uh, the thing I don't do is... I don't try to scratch for traction, right? Scratching for traction because, you know, there's other YouTubers out there. They got nothing to talk about because their drip is garbage, right? And their trading is garbage. Everything about them is garbage. And so they got nothing to talk about except, oh, I'll just do crypto news, you know, because, you know, they see one that I've already been doing that for quite some time. And so... You know, it's, oh, let's do that because, you know, he's doing that too, right? But I bring on the news in a more, I guess, uh, user-friendly and an entertaining way because, you know, it's, it's more like point and counterpoint. You know, I throw it out there and I give my thoughts about it. And you can share your thoughts about it too, you know, if you want to. Just comment down below on that. So Bitcoin cheap at 20 k as BTC price to wallet ratio mimics 2013. Nah, not cheap enough. I'm telling you, it's going to be a 10K. We're looking at 10K, Bitcoin, 500 ETH. That's what we're looking at. And, of course, it's going to take its time to get there. It's not going to be a sudden drop unless there's some sort of worldwide monumental event. All right? That's going to kill it once again like COVID did in 2020. And uh, it's simply just market conditions in 2018. Um... Cardano sharks scoop up 79.1 million ADA ahead of the Vaso hard fork. Aha! That that is uh, something that you know in light of uh, or in dark, <laughs> dark, uh, 
the legendary oracle threw it out there, right? The legendary oracle talked about how he's just killing it on trading with Cardano as it goes down and down and down. And see, accumulation occurs despite a technical outlook threatening a 35% price crash by September 2022. And he talked about it, how he believes it's going to go down to 17 cents, right? Because of all these forks coming into it and the forking is what's killing it, one. And two, uh, it, people think that the forking is going to be a benefit to just scoop up more Cardano, but he doesn't see it that way. He sees it in a different way and it's just killing it right now and he's killing it in trading, just throwing that out there. So on ADA, so you should check that out on his channel there. Um, but yeah, he's killing it. Uh, after Terra's fall to Earth, get ready for the stablecoin era. All right, so the maze algorithmic stablecoin crashes kill the concept, or is there a role for fiat pegged cryptocurrencies? Uh, well, yeah, if you want like a hypey return once again, and and uh, the possibility that you just never know that when some sort of worldwide event happens again, you get wiped, right? Again, liquidated, because they get liquidated, it means you're going to get liquidated, and then you're screwed once again. Uh, I don't know. I, I wouldn't take that chance, me personally. That's just me. But you could do what you want to do and get screwed over again. That's on you. Uh, but I'm not going to touch that shit when it comes to stable coin algorithmic things. I mean, isn't that what Drip was talking about, doing some sort of, like, algorithmic sort of garbage uh, i don't know I, I wouldn't even touch that area just like i don't touch nfts and nft bridges anything any bridges i wouldn't touch those either uh, it's just asking for a disaster to happen um and and again when it comes to these sort of things that are happening in exchanges right all these liquidations and all that that's the whole point i keep talking about every time is don't leave your money on the exchange all right because look at this is what happens voyager right i've seen voyager stuff for years you know advertising all that check out their cryptocurrency exchange and their wallet features and things like that but i never put my shit on it and uh, look what happens to them right uh if anything always uh stick it out and put it in your Exodus wallet, your MetaMask. At least those are a little bit safer. It's not the safest, right? But safer than keeping it on exchange. So, um, you know, I mean, I guess safe would be like putting it in a hardware wallet like Trezor and stuff like that. But that's if you want to do that. Uh, nifty news. Total uh, BAYC thefts crack 18.5 million. Ape now, pay later loans, come for NFTs and more. So total value of the the stolen BAYC NFTs has cracked 18.5 million. BNPL comes, comes for NFT buyers in Australia makes big moves in the non-fudgeable space. I wouldn't touch that shit anyways. Anyway, you know, it, it, DeFi is one thing. NFTs is like a segment of that in a more um blown up way to where they have uh some sort of determined value for these nfts uh to me there's no really any rhyme or reason except for the the author of it the representation of it sometimes there's actors endorsed or athlete endorsed or whatever right big name endorse that next thing you know it's creating some sort of artificial value to it for some piece of shit art and so, um, I don't, I don't mess with NFTs. I mean, it's different if I'm messing with NFT platforms that's creating, you know, profit in crypto, or whatever, but to own anything like that, if it's coming to me for free, I'll take it, but I'm not going to pay for it. How about that? So just saying, um, other than that, let's see what else is going on before we close it off for today on a Sunday, right? And so with that, be cautious of the Sunday night dumps, All right? They clean the deck, and Monday morning comes around once again of a new business week. So other than that, comment down below. 
Let me know what you think about the latest in the news, and I'll see you in the next one.